Hello, in this video I'll show you how to color grade your photos in Canvas Photoshop and this image was taken by Tony the photographer. So for this kind of image you can see that we have an even skin tone. As you can see the face has a different color from this part of her body and we're going to be fixing that later on in this video tutorial. But I want to show you how to process the raw image first of all after importing it and later on how you can fix this kind of issue or problem regarding this very image. So for this, you're just going to first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image. So I'll come to my light option right here and simply play with the highlights in this case to remove the overblown out highlights and the whites just like this. Once I'm done doing that, I'll simply come and take the blacks slightly down and open up the shadows of this image and add a tiny bit of contrast to this very image. And this makes the image look more lively and more punchier. Once we're done doing that, I'm just going to slightly increase on the exposure of this very image slightly. Then I'll simply come to my temperature and I slightly warm up the image by moving the temperature slider higher to around 5200 kelvins to add a tiny bit of warmth to the image. Then I'll scroll down to our color mixer because I feel like the greens in the background are taking attention from the subject. So the very first thing I'm going to do in this case, I'll simply come to the hues. Remember, hue dealing with deals with changing a color. Then saturation is the intensity of a color. Luminance is the brightness levels of a given color. So for this, I'll simply come to the hues and I'll move the greens towards the yellow side, just like that. And once I'm done doing that, I'll simply come to the saturation and I reduce on the saturation of the greens just like that and you can see right now the attention is on the subject and the background takes away less of the attention once i'm done doing that i'll simply come and open the photo in photoshop for us to do the next color grading process or step so in photoshop basically this is the image right in photoshop so in photoshop i always tend to do this color grading process for the skin tone after I have done the skin retouching. But let me just show you how to do this. So create a copy from the background layer by pressing Ctrl J. Or you can use Command J on the keyboard. And after duplicating the background layer, we are going to come and create a new empty layer right here. Change its blend mode from normal and change it to color. Once I'm done changing the blend mode, I'll simply come to this layer that we created initially before. Then I'm going to come to select and come to subject. The reason for selecting the subject is because we don't want our color regarding the skin tone to spill over to the background. That is why we have to make a selection around the subject. So that when you're trying to correct the skin color or the skin tones, the color doesn't spill over to the background. So right now we're done selecting the subject. So now that the subject has been selected, we're going to come to this layer that we created initially before. Then come to the brushes simply get the brush tool and for the settings we're simply going to come and ensure that the hardness is set to zero soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal opacity in the flow has to be at a hundred percent once you're done doing that you're simply going to zoom into the image by using command plus on the keyboard or you can use ctrl plus on the keyboard and choose that spot on the skin tone that you want the rest of the skin to look like so for this case i'll hold on the option key on the keyboard and click on that spot on the skin that I want or prefer and after choosing that area I'm just going to start painting over the rest of the skin so to sample simply click the option key on the keyboard and start painting option and click then start brushing over the skin so I'll simply brush over the skin I know sometimes the color may look off or it may look odd or awkward but I'll show you a technique that you can use to fine-tune the color on the skin so I'll reduce on the size and paint on the skin. And by just doing this, you can see that the skin color is now looking nice and even for majority of the areas of the skin tone. So take your time as you're trying to paint over the skin because you don't want to leave out some areas regarding the skin tones of the subject. So you're just going to paint like that. And you can see the skin tone on the face is now looking better. And you can now come to the lower part of the body and you paint this same exact color so I'll quickly paint like that reduce on the size 
and paint like that paint and you can see by painting using the brush or this technique it is going to create even a nice and matching skin color or skin tones for our model or for our subject in this case so just paint like that like that I hope you can see the result right now so I'm just going to quickly paint on majority of the area so I'll ensure that I've painted majority of the areas that have skin or that contain skin tones of the subject so take your time as you're trying to do the painting process because at the end of the day you don't want to miss out some areas regarding the subject's skin so after painting majority of the areas with this color that we have created for the skin tones you're just going to come and fine tune or make the colors look better regarding this very image so in order to fine tune in case you have missed out some areas ensure that you have painted all those areas using the brush tool once you're done painting you can come and get the eraser tool and with the eraser tool make sure it is set to brush opacity in the flat 100 percent you can now come and erase colors from the areas you did not want to paint in the first place so after that i'm just going to command minus then press Ctrl D, you can use Command D to deselect the active selection. And remember, as we are painting on the skin tone, it was also affecting the highlights of this very image. So, first of all, come the opacity, reduce on the opacity of the effect so that the color can look natural and a little bit realistic. Then you're going to come and reveal the initial color of the brightest areas of the skin tone, like the highlights on the skin. So simply right click on this layer and come to the blending options right here. And when come to blending options, simply come to blend if make sure it is set to gray. Come to where you see underlying layer. So we want to eliminate the effect from the brightest areas of the skin tone. So click right here on these two pointers and move towards the left hand side. Until when you start getting back the initial color of the highlights in this very image. After that, you can now come and split this by holding down the option key on the keyboard and you split this for the highlight to have that nice and beautiful transition so after that i'm just going to come and click ok you can see before and after for the skin tone so once you want to perfect the colors on the skin tone you can simply come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come and select the red so in case the skin is looking too reddish for your liking you can play around with the hue values so for this i'll just add a little bit of greens then I'll come to the lightness of the reds and simply take down the lightness of the reds just like this. Then after taking down the lightness, remove that orange color from the skin. I'll simply come and create a black and white adjustment layer. Change the blend mode from normal to multiply and that is going to darken the overall image. Then I'll simply come to the opacity and reduce on the overall opacity of this black and white blend mode. So this is what we have been able to achieve right now. So after doing this, you can even come and make the hair look whiter than it was meant to be. By coming and creating another selective color adjustment layer, then come and target the whites and you can simply come to the yellows and take down the yellows. You can see taking down the yellow slider is going to make the hair look whiter in this case. Then after that, you can simply come and create another adjustment layer which is the hue and saturation and simply take down the saturation just like this so we are now focusing on the hair of the subject so after that we're just going to put this two in a group and press ctrl g on the keyboard to group that then you're going to press option on the keyboard for mac alternate for windows option and click on this layer mask so that is going to hide or invert the overall effect and you're going to come and get the brush tool and ensure the settings are set to so the hardness is zero percent soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal opacity and flow at a hundred percent so after that i'm just going to come and simply paint over the hair using a white brush so ensure white is the top color and start painting over the hair to whiten the hair or to make the hair look whiter in this case so take your time as you're painting the hair like that and this is going to make the hair look whiter or more white in this case 
So you can see this is how you can get better skin tones for your photos. Let me show you quick before and after for the color grading process of this very image. You can see the image before, after, before, after, before and after. So this is how you can simply color grade such an image when it comes to Photoshop. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget keep practicing and as well keep creating.